Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now 20 years ago in 1996 the accelerated graphics pool or AGP was designed as the successor to PCI which had become the standard four years earlier. However since 2004 and the inclusion of PCI Express or PCIe slots on motherboards AGP has been phased out. In fact, by the start of 2009, there were only a few AGP graphics cards available until eventually production ceased altogether. To put it simply, AGP graphics cards primarily came about because unlike PCI, AGP was a dedicated port and so it didn't have to share bandwidth with other devices and therefore meant better performance. By 2010, barely any new motherboards were being produced with support for AGP as the aforementioned PCIe slot started becoming the new standard. But not everyone had moved on. Many people took to forums asking about AGP cards. Can I get this GPU in AGP? Or when will AGP support officially end? In fact, no one was really sure until it happened. And in 2011, although HD 5000 series drivers for AMD AGP cards were mentioned, the cards only came out as PCIe, officially marking the death of this once popular socket. The last card that appears to be AGP is the HD4670 which was also released as PCI Express. So let's see what this last card can do. Now usually at this point we get straight into testing games but first I need to explain something. After spending the weekend on eBay looking at local hardware shops and pretty much every classified ad ever printed. I personally couldn't find one of these cards. In fact, I could barely find any AGP graphics cards, which signifies just how rare they seem to have become since their death. But don't worry, I put the call out yesterday and luckily enough, one of my friends who enjoys old tech like myself had one of these amongst their collection and was willing to record a few gameplay benchmarks for us. So before we get into that, let's talk about the specs used. Now due to the lack of modern support, the motherboard being used today is an ASRock Conroe 865PE along with a Core 2 Quad Q6600 and 4GB of DDR RAM. That's right, original DDR clocked at 400MHz. This will be interesting, but I have been assured that no bottleneck is present. The 4670 itself is the IceQ 1GB DDR3 version clocked at 750MHz. This card supports up to DX10.1, so some modern titles had to be ruled out. But nevertheless, let's take a look at our results. First up we have Crisis, running at 720p with the highest settings here to achieve a steady mix of graphical fidelity and performance and I've been informed that an average of 30 frames per second was seen over a half hour gameplay period. Considering what a pain Crisis can be, I think it plays very well here, considering our components. Far Cry 3 up next, with the same resolution and medium settings, and the game runs at 37 frames per second on average, without any frame drops to speak of, with, of course, DX9 mode enabled. Not bad, considering Far Cry 3 isn't really that well optimised from my experience. GTA 5 next with everything dropped to normal and 720p to hit 27 frames per second on DX10. You can expect a drop in frames in the city to around 24 frames per second or lower. So I can't really call GTA playable with this card which is a shame considering that the two games before this fared okay. Lastly, we've got Skyrim at 900p with the high settings preset, which gives us around 40 frames per second. Not too bad. Even though Skyrim isn't all that demanding, it is a popular title, and the fact that it runs well on this old AGP card is quite nice, even if we can't quite squeeze full HD out of it. So there we have it the last ever AGP card in action. What's interesting is that although both this version and the PCI Express version should perform the same, this version is limited by the lack of newer component support and the PCI Express version can be slotted into any modern PC. Although the card itself is outdated and I would have a hard time recommending it to anyone, it makes you think if PCIe will ever become obsolete. It's had a very long and successful run and so it doesn't seem that way, but I bet people thought the same back in the days of AGP. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button down below. If you didn't enjoy it so much, click dislike. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And hopefully I'll see each and every one of you in the next one.